Late afternoon, June 28th, 2020, a large supercell tracked across southeast Minnesota, packing strong winds and large hail up to two inches. The storm moved into Winona County where it spawned an F-Zero tornado, about four miles west of Winona, near the town of Stockton. The atmosphere was becoming explosive. A line of storms quickly erupted from near the Twin Cities southward into north central Iowa. The chase was on. I targeted the most southern storm as it had the best moisture and wind shear to work with. This storm quickly became severe and was dropping large hail. Approaching from the north, the structure of the storm was obscured by heavy rain and hail. So I had to do a potentially dangerous maneuver called the floor punch. Driving through blinding rain, destructive hail, and possible tornadoes to get to the rain-free updraft base, typically on the southwest flank of a supercell. Once I cleared the rain and hail, I now could see the structure of the storm. A scary looking cloud base with the beginnings of a wall cloud. I followed the storm into the town of Chatfield, where it began to exhibit rotation and the development of a rear flank downdraft. The updraft began getting undercut by cooler air. It appeared the storm was becoming outflow dominant. The storm weakening, the chase appeared to be over. But then the unexpected happened. A new cumulus tower on the south end of the old storm exploded. And within minutes, I was looking east at a very dark, threatening cloud base. I raced east to get ahead of this new developing storm as it was merging and feeding into the older storm cell. I took an exit onto a side road and pulled over to watch. Other storm chasers had also converged on the storm and were filling it. Now I could see what a true monster the storm had become. Beautiful and deathly ominous, all at the same time. A dark wall cloud emerged from the underbelly of this beast and began to rotate ominously. My new storm chasing friends even sent up a drone to film the storm from above as it continued to churn. Although it came close, the storm would not produce a tornado. Yet. I left the other chasers again and raced east to position myself ahead of the storm. The National Weather Service now issued a tornado warning. I was in perfect viewing area. The rotation of the wall cloud began to increase in intensity. Streams of condensation could be seen feeding up into the ominous cloud like writhing snakes in a snake pit. A funnel began to form. Although it seemed not to touch down, a number of condensation vortices could be seen spinning up from the ground and connecting to the parent cloud tell sign that the tornado was on the ground. I followed the storm into Winona and pulled over at the McDonald's parking lot. I watched as the weakening wall cloud crossed the river into Wisconsin and eventually disappeared.
It was late evening and time for the drive home. As the excitement wore off, all I could think about was getting home, relaxing, and celebrating by cracking open an ice-cold bottle of Spricker Orange Soda. In your wildest dreams, the cows roam through the orange groves in search of a sweet, starry spot to sip on the succulent fire-brewed soda with natural orange, vanilla, and honey flavor for a creamy, dreamy experience that's out of this world.